On this video, I'm gonna give you RV hacks that will help you make cooking in your RV easier. I've been coming up with some new videos. If you didn't see the video last week, I'll link it up above. It was my favorite things that I use to cook in my RV. This week, I'm gonna give you my hacks that I use to help make cooking in the RV easier. Now, the one number one thing you see in most everywhere, and a lot of people don't know this, the oven. In their RV, it will burn the bottom of anything you put in it. It will just scorch the bottom of it. You end up getting biscuits with black on the bottom of them. There is a hack for this and it works great. All you do is you get a pizza stone and it can be the cheapest one. I think the one that I have in there, I think I got it at Walmart or Amazon and it was the cheapest one that they had. And I put it in there and it has worked great. It instantly, it distributes the heat throughout the whole oven so it's not just hot down at the bottom and it makes your food cook evenly. It is a must have. It would be my number one thing that if you do nothing else from any of these hacks, I would do this one. Now, I've seen some people, theirs says broke while they've been riding down the road. It still works even if it's broke. If it doesn't have to be whole, so it doesn't matter. So don't freak out if yours breaks or anything. Mine's been in here since we've gotten it. I think I maybe was about six months in and I was researching and found this hack and I have, it was a game changer, big time. This is, and I'll link anything that I talk about, I will link in the description box below, but I would just get a cheap pizza stone that fits in your oven. Make sure you measure and make sure that it fits because I had one at my house, it wouldn't work because it was too big. My next hack is crock pot liners. Where's my <laughs> crock pot liners. These here will help you because, and I even use these at home, not just the camper, but you could put these in and then put your food in there and then you just throw these away when you're done and your crock pot is still clean. You might have to wipe it out just a little bit, but there's no scrubbing, no wasting all that extra water that you need to wash extra dishes. You will save in these crock pot liners. And I get mine, a lot of times I order them from Amazon. Sometimes I'll pick them up at the store if they have them on sale, but I love the crock pot liners. I use them all the time and I even use them if I use my Instapot like a crock pot, I use this. I don't use it if I'm using it as a pressure cooker. If you haven't watched one of my Two Sip Tuesdays, I talk about Dawn Power Wash and how much I really like this stuff. It works great and it is awesome in the RV. If food has gotten stuck on something, or even if you've got like some plates that have some nasty stuff on them, you can just spray them put them in the sink, let them sit five minutes, and then the stuff comes right off. So you don't waste any extra water and adding extra water to your gray tank. But I love this. And I just found this one. This is an apple scented and it smells good too. So this next one is not just an RV hack. It's just an in general hack, but I wanted to share it somewhere. And I thought this video might be the place to share it. But I don't know if you are like me, but after two or three times, I end up losing the bread tie and I cannot find it anywhere. A super simple, easy hack is just to twist it and pull it through. And now you don't need the bread tie. This doesn't work when the bread bag is still really full, but once you get down and typically, I don't lose it the first couple of times. It's after that, that's when it just comes up missing and runs away. But this is a great hack. I love this. I forgot I who I forgot who I saw this from, but I use this all the time. This tip is probably more for like a weekender, but what I would suggest is whenever you're going to go on a trip, plan your meals before you leave. That way you can bring exactly what you need, nothing more, and then you don't have to go running around trying to find stuff if you decide you want to make something and you can't you don't have it. 
Another thing that goes along with planning your meals, keep it simple. Don't try to do like a five course meal. Try to do like a smaller meal or something that has a lot less ingredients so that you don't have to spend so much time cooking. If you do something that's simple, it takes less time and that keeps less time that you're in the RV kitchen and you're more out doing the things you like to do. You could just prepare some of the items before you leave. Like if you know you're gonna need chopped onions, go ahead and chop them before you leave the house. Another thing is do one pot meals, like the crock pot that I talked about last week, or just try to pick item, things that are gonna be just one pot. So that way you're not dirtying up as many dishes in an RV and having to waste more water. Another thing, in the RV, because it is a small space, I like to do what I call progressive cleaning. Once I use something, I wash it right then. And I just keep this going. That's the reason I have like such a small drying rack is because I do not let anything pile up. So I constantly, I'm constantly washing and drying items as I go. So that way they don't pile up because all your surfaces are precious and you don't want things piling up on your surfaces. So just do what I call a progressive clean. Just keep cleaning as you're going. Another thing, and I know this has happened, you have the alarm going off because you're cooking on the stove and the smoke is billowing everywhere. And I'll go ahead and tell you, this exhaust fan, it does not work very well at all. It just blows the smoke right back up in here. But if you have an exhaust fan like we do up above the stove, I turn this on a lot of times, especially when I'm cooking something that makes a lot of smoke. I will turn this on, fan on, and let it blow out. Turn that exhaust on, utilize that exhaust more than this exhaust. Another thing when it comes to an RV, I did a video about my stove cover, but this is a great way to utilize a lot of surfaces for cooking is if you, I use my cutting board, I'll move it over here, air fryer out. I don't want to sit them directly on the stove, on the countertop. It's not gonna hurt them, but for me, I just would rather put them on my cutting board over here. And that's what I always do. I hope that you learned something from these hacks. If you would, tell me your favorite hack. Till next time, like and subscribe.